joined by New Mexico head coach Richard Patino. He has brought student athletes, senior center Nellie Jr. Joseph and graduate guard Jamal Baker Jr. We'll let uh, Coach Patino open us uh, with a comment before we uh, give the floor to questions for the student athletes. Coach? Well, certainly the wrong day to uh, go cold. We just couldn't make a shot. Uh, Clemson has a lot to do with that. Give them credit. They're big, they're, they're disciplined. You have to make shots for them because they really, really pack the paint. Um, you know, so it stings right now, uh, but extremely proud of the growth in this program from where we started to where we're at now uh, to, to make the NCAA tournament in year three, to win a conference tournament championship, all great. Um, so we'll keep it in perspective. We're disappointed, obviously, but very, very grateful for an amazing year, and we're going to continue to build. We'll open it up for questions for the student athletes. Raise your hand. We will get a mic to you if you have questions for the student athletes. I'm going to start uh, just uh, straight in front of us. Uh, Jeff Grammer, Albuquerque Journal. Nelly, you were doing some things inside, um, very active inside. I know they had some big guys. Uh, why were you able to find the success you were able to find around the rim? Um, I mean, I just want um, I just want to play out to like make sure like get uh, get going as a team. So I just do what I have to do as a big man. And, yeah. Any others for the student athletes? Same mic. Uh, Will Weber, Santa Fe, New Mexican. Either one of you guys can answer this. Just a, a, a really awful start. You're down 30 to 11. I'm just curious. What's the mindset coming back from that? How do you how do you try to bounce back? Just stay confident and try to bring energy, as much energy as you can, and, and try to make them uncomfortable. Um, we, we felt like we ran around, we tried to scrap around, and, um, and we weren't able to uh, make them uncomfortable the way we wanted to. And uh, that's why we couldn't really fight back. Others for the student athletes? Okay, one more. Hi, Lauren Green with KOB4. Um, either one of you guys can answer this. Um, I just finished speaking up or speaking with some of your teammates in the locker room. Um, they said kind of Clemson was able to really just play at their pace. Would you agree with that? And why was it so hard to kind of maybe get your rhythm going and running like how you guys like to as a team? Uh, I mean, yeah, for sure. Um, we didn't we didn't turn them over the way we we wanted to. Um, usually when we when we play scrappy, we turn the, we turn teams over. That's when we can get out and run and and, and I mean make the plays that we make. But um, we didn't make them uncomfortable and uh, ended up being a tough game. With that, we'll let uh, you guys head back to the locker room and we'll open up the floor for questions for Coach Patino. If you raise your hand, we will get you a microphone and uh, we'll start questions for Coach right in front. Points off turnover stat, um, you guys averaged 18 of them in the Mountain West tournament run you guys had. Uh, they flipped the script and go 19-6 on you. Both sides of that, why were they able to turn their turnovers into points against you guys, and, and why were you guys struggling just to turn them over? Um, we had some definitely some uncharacteristic turnovers. I thought their size for sure bothered us. I mean, it's a big ACC team, I and mean, we've – Certainly talked a lot about size all year, and I think as we recruit, we got to get bigger for sure. Uh, but their length bothered, bothered us. You have to hit shots for them. The way that they defend, they back up, um, they're in the gaps, and if you don't hit shots, that lane is going to look real small. That's why we were able to at least throw the ball inside and got something good out of there. Um, you know, but obviously, just offensively, we were so – um, out of rhythm and couldn't hit shots, and it really hurt us. Going to our far left, Coach. Kenneth Miller from the Daily Helmsman. Obviously, this is not the result that you wanted, but in your third season, you've improved every year, from losing record to the NIT to the NCAA tournament. You've talked about building. What do you feel like this means for your program to get New Mexico back to the winning culture that they have experienced for so long? It's one of the biggest rebuilds in the country when we got here. Uh, year one, we were not able to go recruiting. We added eight players off of Zooms. Um, due to the pandemic, we were trying to just establish a culture year one. We go to the postseason in year two. Uh, we're looking at two years of what, 46, 48 total wins. Uh, phenomenal. Um, won a conference tournament championship, cut down the nets. It's a, it's a special fan base. They love basketball. 
hopefully we can taste this success um, and continue to build off it because it's a, uh, you know, our fans certainly deserve that. So really, really proud of all the progress that we made and uh, take a little time off and we'll just get back to work, see if we can go compete for a championship next year. Going to the back row in the aisle. Coach, Jalen fouls out in his last game is in a Lobo uniform. Mash sits on the bench for the last few minutes of what might have been his last game. I'm just curious what your thoughts are on those two players and did you have any kind of conversation, any kind of dialogue before he came out here? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm sure Mash doesn't know exactly what he's going to do. Um, and all, all the guys, I mean, this is just the world we're living in right now. It's crazy. But um, for Jalen, he certainly knows he's done. And he was great. He thanked everybody uh, for getting him to the big dance. It's a special experience. Um, you know, and Mash, he knows he didn't shoot the ball very well. Uh, and I'm sure he's disappointed with it. But those two guys, like we've talked about, they brought New Mexico basketball back. And uh, they've got nothing to be ashamed of. We're going to stay on that mic here in the center. Hi, uh, Coach. Um, Mash had mentioned to me yesterday the spark that you guys had during the conference tournament. Jalen kind of started all of that. Um, I know this isn't the outcome he wanted to finish his season, but when you look at the three years um, when he came here with you, can you reflect on what he meant to you as a player? Yeah, so much heart, so much spirit. He's grown so much as a leader. Um, you know, our, our fans embraced him. There was never, ever a question of effort, ever. Um, never had a bad practice. Never looked at him and said, you're not playing hard, never. And um, so like with things we talked about, to go from sub 300 in the net to top 25 uh, to two postseason appearances, NCAA tournament this year and a conference tournament championship, um, we don't do that without Jalen House. He is a special type of player and a great person. and. Uh, he's going to continue to play for a long time. Inside our final five minutes with Coach, we're going right in front. Their their size was what it was, and and House and Mashburn, you know, combined five for twenty five. Did you consider going with more True Washington in the first half, or or Jamal Baker Jr. Um, bigger guards and, and just bigger minutes than they played? Yeah, I mean a little bit, but not sure it mattered a whole lot. I thought True was giving us good minutes. Uh, JB obviously wasn't hitting shots either, so uh, we were just trying to hope one of them could make a couple shots to blow the game open. We got it to 14 a couple times, um, but we just couldn't break through, and I, and I don't know if anyone really could on that bench. We're going to stay here. And then Donovan just didn't exactly have a Donovan Dent type of game. Is he Was he healthy? Is, is, was he yeah, okay I mean, today? he's probably a little rusty, right, because he was really sick. Uh, I just thought their size really bothered us, and I – if you don't make a bunch of shots, you know, you, you make three threes, they're able to slap down. I think that's why some of the turnovers happen. Um, and there just wasn't a lot of room on the court. And uh, a lot of that was them, but a lot of it was us not being able to hit shots. Next two are coming from the back right. Coach, you may have already addressed this. I, I was in a locker room. So um, could you just talk about how physical that game was? Because, you know, like when you get into one of those, if you get punched, you got to punch back. you got to punch back harder, you know. Yeah, I mean, we battled. We rebounded the ball well, 17 offensive rebounds. We were able to kind of speed up, turn them over a couple times, but that's a big team. Um, we have talked over and over again about our lack of size, and I think transfer portal's open. Um, we're excited about the recruits we've signed. Uh, we'll see who's coming, who's going, and uh, with an understanding that we got to get bigger and stronger for sure. Uh, but our guys, our guys certainly fought that physicality because that's an ACC team and a really well-coached team. Coach, they were so loose yesterday, uh, but was there some stage fright early in this game? I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, we, we, we went cold. We really went cold. I don't remember making two shots in a row. And you put so much pressure on yourself when you don't hit shots like that. So, you know, it's a big stage. Uh, hopefully the guys that do return uh, to go along with the guys we add are just dying to get back here and to continue to build off it. Maybe, uh, you know, we haven't been here in 10 years, so I uh, can't fault them if they were a little bit nervous. Uh, but I don't know. I just thought the, the rim seems small tonight. We'll stay on that same row. Coach, you talked a lot about the, the difficulty in scheduling. Is this kind of a, a, a an indication that maybe – at some point next year, you, you, you beef up the schedule, if at all possible, get ready for games like this? I don't think 
Yeah, I don't know if the schedule – I don't think we weren't ready. Um, we were plenty challenged in our conference. I do think moving forward, I've always believed that the schedule will grow as the program grows. Um, year one, nobody wanted to play us because we weren't good enough. Um, this year, they didn't want to play us because we were a little bit better. Um, I think the more consistency you have in your program, you'll be more desirable to play. Um, you know, so I think our MTE will improve. Uh, we'll look for a really good neutral site game. It's always going to be hard to schedule in the pit and uh, see if we can go from there. Our last two are going to come back here in the down front to end it. Coach, uh, I, I know that you don't have a crystal ball. You can't predict the future, but do you anticipate losing some of the guys because of how things are right now? How could you not? They're all free agents. I, you know, I mean, we'll have conversations with them next week. I'm sure people are reaching out to them. They're people. Um, you know, they got all the freedom in the world right now, and it's if we do lose somebody, the beauty of it is you can go get somebody. Um, and it's just uh, it's part of the ever-changing landscape. I don't think anyone likes it, uh, but it is what it is. So uh, we'll, get, we'll go home tonight, uh, visit with some guys throughout the week next week, and, uh, you know, give them a little time off, get back to work. But if somebody leaves, it's not going to be an indication of, of what's wrong with them. It's happening everywhere. We had an amazing year, and uh, they've got the choice to – to go look elsewhere, fine, we'll support them, and uh, we'll go find a way to go replace them. Last one in front. Part of your answer right there is, is part of what I'm asking about. And when size has been the biggest issue for three years, Jalen House now moving on, um, Jamal Mashburn Jr. may or may not come back, um, not asking to, to discredit anything they brought to this program. You already said they brought the Lobos back to this level of relevancy, but does this give the Lobos a chance to, to basically be a normal size team at the guard position and in the backcourt. Yeah, I mean, you had to sell out certainly with Jalen, uh, Jamal, and uh, Donovan, especially with the injuries in the non-conference. Uh, they brought us to the NCAA tournament, so like we're we're not going to be ashamed of that by any means. But losing Jalen, obviously, that three spot will get significantly bigger. We'll see what Mash wants to do, and go from there. So y you never know what you have until you go through it. And, and I think we see, especially going through the league, uh, what we need to improve on. Uh, but also with understanding we won 26 games and made the NCAA tournament, won the conference tournament. So it's not like we're far off and we need to hit uh, rebuild or reboot by any means. So, But we, we certainly know anyone that we bring into this program in the spring has got to be big and strong and uh, provide some length. Coach, congratulations on a phenomenal season. Thank you for your time. Thank you, guys.